Good afternoon, everyone. I promised I would film our evening routine in action. It is now only quarter past three. I don't begin our evening routine before five o'clock most days, but because I know I'm going to be filming this and filming takes a little bit more time to stop and film what you're doing and explain what you're doing and then edit it before I promised you I'd have it live in the project tonight. I thought I would start a bit earlier just so that we set ourselves up for success as well and we don't cause a chaotic afternoon or evening. So what I'm going to do first is the laundry. We've actually done our load of laundry for the day so I can tick that off my list. I'll show you the list on the fridge in a second. And uh, I thought whilst I did have the time that I would put a second load in today. So that doesn't always happen. But laundry is something I focus on as part of our evening routine because if we don't have the right clothes to wear the next day, that flows into how tomorrow will feel. And our evening routine is all about setting ourselves up for success. That's step number one. time you're up nice and high because it's the only place I can put you while I'm cooking so that I'm hands-free tonight dinner is honey mustard chicken it is one of our favorite recipes I'm making it in the Thermomix I was a consultant in 2013 so I actually earned this machine and two others uh, I love Thermomixes and they really help when you are time poor because you're able to put your meal on and then continue doing something else. And I find there's a lot less dishes and a lot less mess to tidy up as well. Uh, but I appreciate that not everyone has a Thermomix and I'm certain you could change this recipe or convert it so that you can make it without a Thermomix. The recipe is by feeding two growing boys, I think it is. So if you Google feeding two growing boys, boys honey mustard chicken, you will find this recipe, but it's nice and easy. So uh, no need to chop up your onion because the Thermomix does that for you. So just chop it in half and then uh, blitz it up. It takes five seconds to cut it up. A little bit noisy though. That's it, I lied, three seconds. All right, so three seconds, I'll just let it release it and I'll show you. So that's three seconds in the Thermomix. And then I am going to add the oil and turmeric into it and saute it. I can be quite sensitive to onion, as you can see here. So one of the tips that I have for you, is instead of lifting the whole lid off the Thermomix, now that you have sauteed the onion, just take the little cup off and do the next part of the recipe without um, taking the whole lid off because you're going to get all that onion. So uh, turmeric and flour. Another thing I love about the Thermix is that you can just, instead of having to use other dishes, I just measure it straight from the Thermix, weigh it, uh, sorry, straight from the container into the Thermomix using the weight function that it has. Sounds like a Thermomix ad. I promise I'm not trying to sell them to you. I don't have um, any affiliation with Thermomix, but I don't often do a story when I'm using it. So I thought I would give you some hints and then water straight into it. And then we can put that on to cook. There are a couple of things I love about the Thermomix. One of them is while it's doing its quick minute cook or it's chopping up of something, you can pop the dishes uh, into the sink or into the dishwasher and put some of your containers away so that once your meal is cooking, hopefully you don't have many dishes left around your kitchen. I'm just adding a few things to this. So a bit of stock, I need to put mustard in. Uh, so this is this whole grain mustard and then honey. And this is local from Bundaberg. You can get it at Cha Cha Chocolate. That's my favorite bit is that any dishes that I use, I just had straight in the dishwasher. I had the dishwasher ready and empty. So as the dinner's cooking and when it finishes, there won't be any dishes other than the dishes we will use to eat the meal. 
all that's left for this recipe is to add some cream to it after the five minutes is done and then it will cook for a further 20 minutes so during that 20 minutes there are so many other things i can be doing i could choose to do card games with the boys play something with them I could instead decide that it's a good use uh, of time for my 15 minute tidy up if I'm time poor. But just knowing that that is cooking away in the background there and that it doesn't need my attention is really helpful. On a Saturday, our zone cleans are the outdoors. So we spend 15 minutes outside, even if it's just picking up a thing or two or doing a bit of watering, just something for our outdoor area or our gardens because we, neither of us are really big gardeners. Tim's been loving doing the lawn lately. So the lawn is looking wonderful. But other than that, we don't spend a lot of time on gardening itself. So Saturday's the day for that. And then the kids' bedrooms. Now, the kids are responsible for their bedrooms 95% of the time. So I have asked them to tidy their rooms. They say they're done. And I thought I would show you uh, where they're up to. So this is one of the rooms. It's pretty tidy. I don't know what's happening with the cactus. There's a bit of, there's a bit of uh, glow stick action happening there. <laughs> Lots of trinkets in this room. And uh, this is where all the soft toy love happens. So I do wanna come up with a better storage system for this. It's one of my goals, this Project 14, to find something better for him because he's really good at packing them away, but it's not an ideal storage setup there. So I'm wondering whether I can utilize this space here somehow. I'm not sure yet. It's still a work in progress, but he's done pretty well. There's cords and a few things happening there that I'll fix up, but otherwise it's done. And this is the other room, so it's not terrible by any means. What is happening up here? Hello? What you doing? Hi, is there someone else up there with you? Let's have a look. Who's up there? The other one. <laughs> You're camping up here, are you? All right, so this is the other room. It's not terrible, but I will call him back just for these couple of things. I don't know what the deal is with that pillow, but I'll call him back for these couple of things. Otherwise, we will, um, I don't know what's happening here. Oh, this was me. They've grown out of this, so I was putting it aside to take it to charity. But that's the second zone of the day. Planning. It's a critical part of any day and it makes such a difference to how the next day runs for me. So I just got my planner out. You can use any notepad or any piece of paper and I wrote out, so I looked through my plans for today and I set out my goals for tomorrow and my uh, list of three. And I also put an affirmation for tomorrow in there. So during the project, I have fairly full days now. I do that in addition to packing orders at the warehouse each day and uh, just everyday life like so many others do. And so I even add affirmations into my planner and my affirmation for tomorrow is the more energy I use, the more energy I have. So I'm trying to think as positive as I can. I'm trying to make sure my mind is as strong as it can be. And uh, tomorrow the plan is uh, Tim has drums in the morning. So he will do that first. Then I have a live video at 11 a.m. for morning routines. Uh, my goal is to do 15 minutes of clearing photos on my phone, 15 minutes in the spare room, 15 minutes in our wardrobe. Then Tim will play drums again tomorrow night. And I have planned out our dinner, which is turkey mint shepherd's pie. My list of three for tomorrow, and it looks like this nearly every day during the 14 days, is uh, time in the community, just checking through posts, uh, time in my email inbox and then time across my social media inboxes. So I have planned out what I need to do tomorrow. So all I've got to do when I wake up is open my planner and follow this list. Now, this is the weekly planner. So this was today, Saturday, this is tomorrow. And then down the side is my list of three. I spoke this morning on the project of um, the importance of reflecting on what's working so that you can carry that forward, but also taking the time to identify things that repeatedly aren't working for you because if we don't take the time to stop 
and think about what's not working so that we can put positive steps into place to make changes, then we'll, comp we'll continue to complete the same thing over and over and over again that we find frustrating or stressful or overwhelming. And uh, that's what I use the notes and idea pages in my planner for at the moment. So I just have a list. So here's uh, Saturday, Sunday and my list of three for this week. And then there's a, a notes and ideas page in the weekly planner. So I have a heading for what's been working well and then what do I need to find solutions to? So some of the things that worked well this week for our family were card games. We spent a lot of time being this time of the year. We have more family times. So we did lots of card games. We've been eating meals at home. We uh, have done many family games of cricket. I've been keeping up with my messages and emails and I've been really proud of that because there's been an influx with the project and with planners, but I've been keeping up with them and I have someone that helps me in the warehouse uh, three times a week and that's been working beautifully. Uh, there's two things that I feel like I need to find solutions for, particularly looking back at this week. One being that uh, every day I'm running at um, very close to my threshold. So I don't have a lot of downtime because I have my day so full at the moment and I am considering hiring customer support for that, but it is a very specific role and it is one that I don't wanna outsource virtually. I wanna make sure that it is someone that comes into the studio and that I'm around while they're responding so that I'm there to answer questions. And uh, yeah, I think it's a very critical part of any business. And so I don't take that lightly, but it's something that I need to look into. And uh, the other thing that I need to find solutions for is the fact that I'm spending more time on logistics and less time on creatives. And what that means is I have so much that I wanna share with you, so many things that I want to help you with in your home and organizing and using a planner, but the time I'm spending on emails and messages and logistics, which is an important part of a business, it means that I'm spending less time on the creative, uh, creating content and things like that. So it's an important part of business and it's one that logistic, uh, I need to spend time on logistics and make sure we have strong foundations. Uh, but at the same time, I'm just aware that I don't wanna be pulled away from creating helpful resources for you. So they're the two things that I'm wanting to find solutions for. Of course, I didn't need to share mine. I'm encouraging you to think about your own, but sometimes hearing the sorts of things other people look at helps you. And uh, it may be that you're looking at things that aren't working well in your family. It might be your routines, your systems, things in your house. It could be in whatever career you're in, but taking the time to consider what's working well and then where you need to find solutions helps because if we can't identify the things we wanna change, then we're less likely to change them, of course. So always reflecting, it's such a critical part of anything, reflecting on relationships, on how the house runs, because if we don't stop and take a minute to think about what's happening, we'll continue to do the same thing over and over again. And sometimes that's not what's best for us. Tim is out weeding at the moment and Lola desperately wants to go outside, but isn't allowed outside since she got bitten by the snake. We don't let her outside, either of the cats at all. I'm gonna take her to sit outside with me for a little bit while Tim does some weeding because she's been crying and scratching at the door since he went outside. So we're gonna go for a bit of an excursion outside in the safety of mummy's arms, yeah? It's a good Saturday night. We got dinner. You like this dinner, don't you? Yes, I love it. It's so good, isn't it? Stop making this more and I'll eat all this every night. You will? All right, boys, tell me, what's the best part about night times in our house? In our house? Yeah. Food. Food? What Sometimes. else? Sometimes. Sometimes. What? No, some nights or all nights? I don't know. Some nights, I guess. Some nights? Hmm. We get to watch cricket. You like watching the Big Bash? Oh, that's the same with me. Thank you, baby. Tonight yeah, we're sorry, watching sorry. cricket at oh, uh, Opa Nands. Look at this. And Brisbane Cheers. Heat's playing with Sydney Sixers. 
Mm, and Sorry. you've got your Brisbane heat yeah. on. Heat be heat shirt on. Mm -hmm. Haven't you? Two favourite teams. Mm -hmm. What's your favourite thing to do with mummy? Arcade. The arcade? At Bundy Bowl. Okay, and what's yours, Crazy? What's your favourite thing to do with mummy? I like two. Mm-hmm. One of them is bowling, like actual bowling. bowling. Mm -hmm. And the other one is um, probably going to like a cafe and eating. Sorry, sorry. Going to a cafe and eating. Eating, right. that and sounds then, funny. Yeah. And how how do mummy and daddy show you that they love you? What does love feel like um, to you when we do what? Going places like the arcade or the that's, bungee That's how you know we love you? Yeah, I will. And you make great food. Thanks, honey. Giving up your time for us. Giving up our time for you? Yeah. Yep, that's one of my Like what? Like taking us for a Walk. lunch or right. taking us Walks to the park. Walks to the park. Taking okay. us to the beach. Mm -hmm. Very good. Hello? Not well, What's your favourite part of the Where? evening? Sleeping. It's true. Is your favourite part sleeping mm. of the evening routine? Yep, kind of sleep. No, watching a show together. Watching a show together. That's mm -hmm. my favourite part. Mm -hmm. And how does someone show you that they love you? They tell me. They tell you. Mm. Easy as. That's the same with me. You're really enjoying that, Hans. I'm oh, nearly done. Come on. <laughs> that It is 6.30, 6.30, the kettle is boiling. We are having Cheap coffee, coffee, tea and cake and we are going to watch a movie. Did you decide what movie we're watching? No, Let's go have a look, we'll decide together. Cricket? Really? 
That looks wonderful. Is that mine or yours? Yours. Oh, thank you, darling. We're gonna choose a movie, yeah.